Hi, and welcome to another C++ programming tutorial from someone 9031. Um, today, this is just going to be a very short video on um, uh, pointers to objects of your class. So yeah, let's get started. Um, as you can see here, I wrote myself a very simple rectangle class. Um, it's very similar to the ones that we've written in previous tutorials. Um, two overloaded constructors, um, four uh, accessor and retrieve functions, get area, get perimeter, get group perimeter, set length, set width, and two member variables, double length and double width. And as you can see, I've provided no destructor because I have no use for it. Um, everything I need my destructor to do, C++ will do that for me. So yeah, let's get started. Um, all of these functions are very straightforward. If you look at them, you should understand them. So when you create a class in C++, um, it can be used just like um, the built-in C++ data type. So we can use this rectangle just like we would use int or bool or double or float or something like that which of course means that we can create pointers with our classes. So pointers to classes are very much like pointers to um, any other uh, data type. Um, they're quite similar to a normal object of the class except for um, I think yeah just basically a few major differences. So let's get started and create our uh, pointer. So rect pointer r equals new rect like that. So we dynamically allocate our pointer. Um, as you know, um, when you use a pointer in C++ to retrieve the value stored at the memory area pointed by the pointer, you need to use something known as the indirection or dereference operator. And that prov um, provides a potential uh, conflict when you're um, using class pointers. So for example, if we wanted to call this set length um, function on our R pointer, um, what you'd immediately think to do would be dereference R and then dot set L say 9.0. And if you look here, we get a nice little error. Expression must have class type. And basically, what's wrong here is this member access um, operator, the dot, has higher precedence than the dereference or indirection operator, which means that it is evaluated first. So right now, it's trying to perform set length on a memory address, which of course is not going to work. So what we need to do is surround this with parentheses like that, so dereference will be um, done first. Now that's kind of a hassle. It's uh, cumbersome, prone to error, and yeah, it's more typing than you really need to do. Um, and that's because the developers of C++ thought of, of this, and they actually provided a special operator for accessing member um, variables and member functions with uh, object pointers. So all you have to do is put um, the name of your pointer and then a hyphen or dash and then an angle bracket. So basically you create an arrow. And that is the exact same as dereferencing and then using the dot. So this replaces all of that with one simple operator. So that's what you should do when you are uh, accessing member functions and member variables um, with object pointers. Now let's also call set width. say 4.0. Now let's print out the area. Like so, and let's run our program and look at the results. Oh, actually, yeah, I should have actually deleted that at the end. Um, it's not a very big problem here because right after we use it, it's already the end of the program. But yeah, I guess I should have probably deleted that. Uh, yeah, I forgot. 
So, yeah. Now, you might be going, well, there's no real point to creating a pointer here and dynamically allocating it. Um, because it just um, adds more uh, things you need to do. You could have just done this with a normal object. And that is true. Um, the advantages of um, object pointers, just like the advantages of normal pointers, are not apparent until you move further on. Of course, these are useful for uh, pass by reference, pass by uh, pass by reference stuff like that. But its real use comes in with polymorphism, um, which um, is a much more advanced topic, which we'll be covering uh, later on after we do inheritance and stuff like that. But um, yeah, object pointers are um, the only way to perform polymorphism. Um, so, yeah, um, that's all for this tutorial. If you like this video, please subscribe, rate. If you have any um, feedback, comments, or questions about this or any other C++ topic, please feel free to leave a comment or you can message me on YouTube. Thanks for watching.